Welcome to XR Template Tutorials for the XR Web Designer 11 Premium Software. This is lesson number seven, and in this lesson, we're going to be talking about another new feature. And in this case, that new feature is the intersect all functionality, which you can find that in the combined shapes menu. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have a blank new document open. And in this case, you'll notice on my screen, I actually have some objects at the top. And these are simply just demonstrations of what I was able to create using the intersect all feature. So what I want you to do is actually to draw something similar to what I have at the bottom of my screen. And you'll notice that I have three circles here that overlap each other and they have a transparency. And the reason I have a transparency for all three of these circles is because I want you to see a rough outline of what the intersect all will create. And you'll notice there's kind of dark areas here. Uh, within these overlapping circles and that should give you a general idea of what the intersect is going to create so if you want to create the same transparency all you have to do is go to the transparency tool in the toolbar and set it to 39 percent which you'll see at the top of my screen here uh, I have it set to 39 percent okay uh, the next thing that you want to do is once you have these three circles and actually I'm going to break this apart so you can see that it is indeed three circles uh, but once you have those three circles there, we're going to go ahead and left click and drag over it to select all three circles. And then we're going to go to arrange and we're going to go to combine shapes. And we're going to select the last option here, which says intersect all shapes. And it's going to create that intersection. And once you click on that, you'll notice that it looks like all three circles are combined, but they're actually not combined. So let's go ahead and click in a blank space in our workspace and then click on the edge of one of these circles and kind of pull it outward a little bit and you'll notice that there's actually individual shapes where these intersections were supposed to occur okay and as you pull these apart you'll see the intersection that was created from the intersect all feature okay so that is how the intersect all feature works and basically the way that I can see its most powerful use is to create logos like what you see up here that I've created and you know even in this case you can see that this shape here kind of looks like a moon so maybe you had a company that needed a logo that looked more like a moon you know you could use that shape there to create that effect but I think this is a really cool feature that's going to help you to create some very uh, complex shapes and if you found this video to be helpful don't forget to embed comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos